Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Flickin' TV. Today I'm going to be talking about homemade power bait. Let's hop into it. So in order to do this, you're going to need three things. First up, you're going to need some garlic powder. Or you could probably use sugar or just something powdery, but I do recommend garlic powder to add some extra scentage. You're going to need some coffee, just whatever's left in the pot. And then some marshmallows, or mini marshmallows, or rather. Okay, so the first step is you're going to take your marshmallows, and you're going to want to open up the bag. And you're going to pour just a little bit of coffee in there. You could also use water or food dye, but I'm going to use coffee just to experiment because usually coffee attracts fish and lots of baits are scented with coffee. So just a teensy bit of coffee in there. You can always add more later. Okay, we're going to seal up the bag and just shake it around in there. You're going to want this to coat all the marshmallows and get them kind of sticky like that. Now, kind of the premise of having the garlic powder now is you're going to dry everything up and then coat those marshmallows to add more scentage. So now that I think everything's well mixed up, as you can see, all the marshmallows are coated with that little bit of coffee. I'm going to go ahead and pour in that garlic powder. Open up the bag. So, yeah. And I'm just going to shake in some of that garlic powder. No specific amount, just until you think that all the moisture is out of the bag and everything is dry and coated. So it does get pretty fogged up. So I'll take one out to show you so you guys can see. I think I'm going to need to add a little bit more, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, added a good amount more. I'm just gonna kind of shake that up. You really want this stuff to be well coated so there's no messy stickiness. And Power Bait is a really, really good bait for trout. It's one of my favorite baits to use. I'm just gonna go ahead and blow a little bit of air in the little bit of air in the bag so I can go ahead and shake them around. It's always helpful to have a nice little air pocket like that so you can shake those around in there. So I still think that I need a little bit more garlic powder just to dry everything out. Okay, add a good amount more and I think that's all we're going to need. Okay, as you can see, got quite a bit in there. Yeah, and I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, so now it's pretty well shaken up. And I go ahead and show you what it looks like. So in the bag there, it looks like a bunch of mush, but it's actually pretty dry. So what we have is we have that marshmallow. Then we have that sticky layer of coffee that creates this thicker substance. It's pretty sticky. And then that dry garlic powder on there. So you kind of have three layers, you get the marshmallow, and it adds a nice lively or mushy, or actually I shouldn't say lively, power bait is meant to mimic pellet food. Um, Yeah, so, and if you guys want to like do different colors and stuff, I wouldn't recommend it just because garlic powder doesn't go well. When you add in dye and stuff, it kind of turns into a paste. So yeah, that's a DIY power bait. And then you can go ahead and throw this in an old power bait container and get ready for those summer trout out deep or really any time of year. But it, work, it does work best during the stocking times of year. So, yeah, so that's a DIY power bait for you. Go ahead and make this at home. Just throw it in a little container and then you'll have tons of power bait for super cheap. I think you can go and buy a bag of big jet puffs for like two, three dollars and then garlic powder. A dollar or so and then i'm sure you guys already have coffee at home so yeah thanks for watching guys i'll see you next time on hooked tv peace